the majority of my wardrobe and my husband's um but today i'm going to sort it out um i was actually just thinking i wonder how many items i have in my wardrobe and how many i can get it down to and i think i probably have about 60 70 items in fact i'll do a quick uh tally not including accessories like scarves and bags and things i've counted out 72 items including the two that i'm wearing right now and i can't think what's in the wash uh so that's not a pretty bad guess like i have seen some of these videos where people are like oh i think i have about 100 things and they have two three four hundred items so uh, uh oh that's not including vests um, okay, so there's one top on there, so add one top, and then vests, because I wear vests underneath clothes a lot, um, and there's probably, there's like six vests, seven vests. Let's start with jeans and trousers, etc. So, firstly, if you follow me on Instagram, which is, uh, at Slow Style Diary, um, you will have seen these jeans before. Uh, I recently got them on eBay, but they are the, if you want to look on eBay for them, I'm not suggesting you go out uh, and do that right now. Uh, but they're the new look Tory mom jeans. Um, and these are unfortunately now too big for me, which is a shame. Um, so I am gonna have to sell them on because they're just ridiculous. Or oh, I could have them altered. I'm not sure. Well, I'm going to pop them over here anyway. I also have the same jeans, but ripped. Now, even though these are the same size, they are a bit smaller, so they do fit a little better. That is so weird. They are a bit smaller. Uh, but yeah, these have rips on the knees, which I've had to sew up because they got a bit too ridiculous. Um, but I'm thinking of patching them up, so that's a little project me so they are a keep these jeans are cheapy Primark ones they served their purpose they're a bit like jeggings but they're not really that flattering on me anymore because they're a little bit too big so they are going to be sold donated passed on these are my favorite skinny jeans they are charity shop find they're about three pounds and they're originally from next uh, and there's not really much to say about them. They are definitely a staple in my wardrobe, even if at the minute I'm not really wearing jeans that, as much because we're at home. Now these jeans, they don't get a lot of wear, but I did put them on the other day and they are very comfy. So I think for now, I'm gonna keep them. They're just like straight leg, a little bit baggy, few like ripped sort of patches on them. Very comfortable. Work jeans. I'm not at work at the moment, but obviously I need to keep these for when life returns to normal. So that's a special work pile. These skinny jeans, high waisted, loved them, lived in them for a long time. And there is nothing wrong with them. The colour's gone a bit on the knees. Um, but I, they're just not that flattering. They're a bit baggy and they're skinny jeans. So I think, and I haven't put them on in months and months, so definitely going to have to pass those on. This is my one pair of shorts, which I will keep, because sometimes it gets hot in England, and you don't want to wear clothes, but unfortunately you do need to wear clothes to go outside, so I will be keeping my shorts. Oh, okay, so I don't know where either of my black leggings are right now. So we'll have to add that to the 70-something that I said before, so... Anyway, one pair of workout leggings, which we will keep. These green leggings, which we will also keep for now. Uh, these are originally Topshop, again, an eBay find. Very useful. Now, these trousers, I'm going to have to try on and see how they go. Because I did live in them, like, the summer after I had Tyler. Uh, very comfy. Uh, so I'm going to have to try them on and see how they fit, so I'll pop that in a separate little pile. Right, that is all my trousers, I think. 
minus the two pair of black leggings that I don't know where they are. One I'm definitely keeping and one I'm going to get rid of because I don't wear them as much. But I don't know where they are right now. Long skirts. So, this skirt is really nice. I've worn it once since I got it. So, I shall be parting ways with it. Um, although when I look at it I can just see like millions of outfit ideas and it is quite versatile because it's black but it's not getting the use that it should be so off you pop this skirt uh, H&M originally another eBay find um, styled it recently in a 10x10 on my Instagram and I really like it so I'll definitely be keeping hold of this I need to hang it back up because otherwise I'm going to forget that I have it because it's not something that I would normally like gravitate towards there's four skirts here there's another one I quite like a pink cord, as you'll see. I have three pink corded uh, items uh, and other lots of other pink, um, especially like dusky pink, dark pink. So this skirt here, definitely keep wear on the regular. Now this skirt I kept because I thought it was, oh, it is cute. However, I don't really wear it that often. It could probably go to somebody that would wear it a lot more. So, ciao, adios, little purple skirt. Now well, this one is sad because, again, I bought it and it was a little bit too big. Now it's now it's just far too big. So, eBay find a bit of cord brown. So I will have to pick something up similar because I really like it, but it just doesn't look doesn't sit right because it's too big. Denim skirt. Very cute, very practical, not really as much my style now as it was perhaps a couple of years ago. Um, so I will be passing this on just because it's not that comfortable either because the elastic in the top is quite thick. And if it's not comfortable, why are you wearing it? This skirt is covered in fluff, but hey, love this colour. Uh, it does, it goes with a lot of my wardrobe as well, obviously not this pink. Um, but yeah, like paper bag style, oh no, the little, that's broken, well that needs to be fixed. Um, and I really like the like tortoise shell buttons on the front as well. It's just really sweet and I wear it often so that will be staying. Oh my goodness, is that all the bottoms? It is. Random hat. Now, a while ago I put a poll on my Instagram and said, oh like, I can't do it right now because I've got a bun on. Uh, what do you think of the hat and I quite liked it in the picture and then some days I feel like it's cute other days I feel like it's just not and I've worn it about twice so it's got to go scarves I wouldn't I didn't count these in my total like amount of clothes I have in my wardrobe because I wouldn't class them as clothes they're accessories but I'm gonna go through them and get rid of some everything is cute I have to come back to the scarves because that's three and then there's one more downstairs which is like a cream snood which I wear all the time but it's gonna get more fun well I think it's gonna get more fun oh no look the cream snood is here uh, that's definitely staying so look. this coat um, obviously it's getting warmer now so it's not probably gonna see the light of day much However, I'm keeping it, a recent purchase, off the lovely uh, Take Heart on Instagram, Tabitha. She was selling a load of her stuff on eBay and I thought, well, I'll have a look. Picked up this coat for £10 and I love it. So that's a firm staying. Long sleeved tops, 100% keeping, super comfy, love the colour, wear it all the time. Now things get, oh no, another super charity, oh that was charity shop as well, this is charity shop, um, I think it was originally white company so it's really nice um, material, I'm not sure what it's made out of but it's really like quite thick, um, is it, oh the label has completely rubbed away, so it's some, I think it's probably some sort of like heavy duty cotton with a bit of like elastine through it, but yeah, all the time. I have two shirts that I both I like both of them I really do however this one the material is like a sheer polyester type thing 
and it feels a bit weird on my skin when I'm wearing it. So even though I do really like it, I think I'm going to have to say goodbye because I'm, just, I'm not going to wear it. Like being real with myself, I'm not going to wear it. The whole Marie Kondo does it spark joy a little bit because it's pretty, but it's pretty and it's sat in the wardrobe. So yes, we will have to say goodbye. This top, I haven't worn this top since Christmas day last year, as in like four months ago. Um, but I have worn it a lot and I think it's something that I would like to incorporate more into my wardrobe. Uh, so for that reason, I'm going to hold on to it for a bit longer. This jumper is cute. Also, the window is open and despite there being lockdown, there seems to be lots of cars and trucks driving past today. But yeah, this jumper, very cute, fairly practical, however not as much my style now as it was when I first bought it. Um, it's X Fast Fashion. I think it was Haitian that divided. But yeah, so I think I'm going to say goodbye. White tops here. Recently sewed this back to its full glory because there were rips in it. I love it. Bought it in Primark years ago, five years ago maybe. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep it until it's grubby and I have to get rid of it. Let's see. Now, this top is practical. It's a biggish white t-shirt. However, it has a lovely stone on it that I can't get out. Um, so I think I'm either going to donate it or use the material and like, cut it up and use it for like sewing -y projects. I had a project pile, so we'll make a new one. This top I've not yet worn, um, but I was handed it down by a lovely family friend. Hello Sue, if you are watching. And I think for the summer it's going to be really wonderful. It's a little off the shoulder number. Very cute. Very cute indeed. Now, this top I have, I got in a charity shop for 99 pence in Gloucester with my mum. I think Tyler was a baby. And I have worn it a few times, however, I feel like the material's faded a bit. It's not as, I don't like it as much as I used to. So I am gonna pass it on. Also, my hangers are all different because as most people probably have, we've acquired loads of different plastic hangers over time and I see no reason to get rid of them, put them in the bin just to buy ones that look really pretty. No offence if that's what you have done, but just think about what you're going to do with the plastic hangers when you get new hangers, you know? This shirt, a firm favourite, probably gets worn maybe once a month. Um, it's one of those like keeping for best shirts, even though it's a Primark one and polyester. But hey ho, that's the hang as well. Some black tops, and by some I mean a lot. Right. This top, quite cute, do not wear it that often, suddenly got it getting very bright outside, but yes, we're going to pass that on. It's just a bit too short and I don't quite like how it sits on me, so goodbye. Now this top, I like it, Jack got it for me, makes me laugh, uh, and I think I'm going to put it in as like a workout t-shirt because I don't think it's that flattering on me. However, obviously I do need something to work out in, although that doesn't happen very often. It does sometimes happen. I'm gonna keep this for now because I have nothing bad to say about it. This black top, just a plain v-neck top. I would like to get something a bit more um, high quality of this sort of style of t-shirt, um, but at the moment I will keep the one that I have. Bam t-shirt, keeping, also keeping this t-shirt and this pinafore, obviously. This is a bullet of my Valentine t-shirt that is so thin because I've had it for so many years and worn it so many times and washed it so many times. I don't even think it's it's not even like really that black anymore. And there is this t-shirt. Love it. We'll keep it until it is literally falling off of me. Two more black tops here. Neither have been worn since last summer. However, I am going to keep them because I did wear them a lot last summer. 
um, so I know that I probably will get a lot of use out of them this summer. Now the weather is actually starting to get a bit, ooh, it's all tangled, nice then. This, um, this is actually a funny material but it normally like sits alright, uh, it's just like a bit more of a fancy vest, uh, which is nice. It's like all crocheted and I really like it. I just wear it with a plain black vest underneath. Um, I think I picked it up in a Primark sale for like a pound years ago, but it's got really pretty detailing. We will keep that. Some more colourful things now. Red check shirt. I really don't know what to do because I love it, but I haven't worn it in ages. I don't find it all that, it doesn't suit me that much. Um, but then I think a red check shirt is really versatile. What do I do about the red check shirt? Because I haven't worn it in ages. But it is really versatile. Can you tie it in a knot like, what, like, like the 90s? Like like <laughs> that works. Got it. It's, it's not really going to be appropriate for another few months though, is it? Why? In the summer. It's not really a summery garment, is it? I know, but you can't get rid of all your winter clothes just because No, I'm not saying get rid of all your winter clothes, but I'm saying if you're umming and ahhing about whether to keep it or not, because you're not going to need it for a couple of months, if you're not 100% sure you want to keep it, you might as well get rid of it. And you do have two check shirts, I can just borrow one. Well, you do now. Okay, goodbye. Hello, a uh, small amount of time has passed. My uh, camera battery died, so I had to give it a quick charge because I only have one. <laughs> so, we got two. Some colourful tops. Now, this one, I love the colour, Charity Shop Find don't love the fit so it is going to be and it's been sat in the wardrobe for ages so I haven't worn it in months so it is going to be passed on we know by now after um, all this rambling I've been doing that I like a vest and this is no exception very cute eBay find I really like the detailing on the front here will definitely be keeping denim shirt very cute. I haven't worn it as much as I anticipated I would when I bought it at charity shop, obviously. Um, but I'm going to keep hold of it because I'd like to incorporate it more into my wardrobe. This top, very cute, however, has holes in it. Not cute. This top, very cute, although every time I wear it, I feel like that CBBS presenter that always wears dungarees. Um, Nothing against dungarees, I love dungarees as you will soon find out, but I just, I don't love it, you know, I did love it in last summer, but I think the love has gone. Very handy, nice fitted, good quality t-shirt, um, very bright pink, but I will be keeping it, uh, I, I quite like it. Mustardy yellow crop top. Now I won't necessarily wear this as a crop top, I'll put it underneath my dungarees or a little dress so um, I'm probably going to end up cutting and just sewing it because it gets a bit annoying that it's just dangling in the middle then. Grey bodycon dress, admittedly have not worn since last summer however there's a bike outside. It gets quite cold and I haven't worn it with tights, but I will be keeping hold of this. Oh, another mustard yellow. This dress, a uh, very cute wraparound dress. Um, and I love the style and the fit. However, I am going to pass it on. Um, it just doesn't sit right on me and I don't want to keep clothes that aren't flattering on me. That don't make me feel good, you know? Orange jumper, yes, yes, yes. Obviously coming into spring, summer now, I probably won't be wearing it as much, but it's definitely a well-loved piece in my wardrobe. This dress, very cute, very bobbled. Um, also not flattering on me at all. Christmas jumper, which obviously can't really wear any other time of the year, but I will keep it because it is has proven handy every Christmas. Now this shirt I haven't worn. 
I don't know, in a long time. As much as I like the colour, I am going to pass it on. This jumper, uh, my friend Jenny passed out to me. Um, hi Jenny, if you're watching. But, unfortunately, it's a bit short on me. So I can only really wear it with like a few select amount of things. So I think I'm going to be passing it on to somebody else that will be able to get some wear out of it. This is probably one of my favourite things in my wardrobe. Um, not the raincoat, but obviously we're keeping that because it's practical. This blazer, I just love it. And I think it's fantastic. And yeah. Right, this is very cute. Summery little, like over the top uh, cardigan type thing. But I think um, I'm going to pass it on because it's just not my style anymore. Right, I have another item from lovely Jenny. I haven't worn it yet, but I would really like to. I have a few ideas for it in mind. I was going to wear it to go out for my birthday, but seeing as we're in lockdown for my birthday, well, I might still wear it for my birthday, but yeah, it will just be in the house. This little summer dress proved very useful last summer. We had quite a good summer last year. So uh, yes, I'll be holding on to this. Right, dungarees. I have a pink pair and a black pair, black Lucy, Lucy and Yak pair, and a pink, like, random and branded pair that I got second hand, keeping both of them. This little black dress, which is on the hanger with something else. So this little black dress uh, I bought two Christmases ago from a charity shop as part of my Christmas Day outfit, um, and yeah, it goes with pretty much everything in my wardrobe so it's definitely a stay with me. Blue pinafore, Jack's mum picked this up for me, very sweet, we'll be keeping. And another blue pinafore which is another new addition to the wardrobe uh, from lovely Sue once more. Um, it is a little bit big but um, I wore it a few times last month and uh, it's really comfy and it looks cute so hanging on to that. How many cosy jumpers is too many cosy jumpers? So I don't know. I think my mum um, gave this to me and I do like it but I just it's I've worn it now you know what I mean like I, I never reach for it I always keep it but I never reach for it so I think the time has come to pass it along. This pile is getting big I don't know if it's in shot yet. <laughs> this jumper carbs um, I, I quite like a green, so I'll keep hold of this. Uh, it's handy, it goes with, again, it's something that goes with a lot of my wardrobe, because a lot of my wardrobe is dark, uh, so it goes with it quite well. Now, love this to death, however it is stained, multiple stains, so I'm going to pass it on or see if I can use it for some sort of crafty project. Cardigans keeping this one, this is an M&S one, very posh, it's not really, I got it on eBay, uh, but yeah, it's just, I don't know what this colour is, can someone tell me what this colour is please, uh, definitely keeping it though, uh, charity shop find, I think it's Gap, yes, Gap originally, uh, thoroughly enjoy a chunky knit, definitely keeping, oh my god, this is another M&S find, but uh, charity shop, via the charity shop, and it's like a blend of different materials, but it's so soft and so lovely, and I've worn it a lot this year. I think it was Christmas time that I got it, Jack got it for me, and yeah, definitely keeping. This is Cozy Jumper number one, uh, and then this is Cozy Jumper number two, and uh, I feel like I don't need, and I actually have another one of these. So I'd definitely get rid of one of these. Uh, this was handed down, um, Jack's mum gave this to me, but I'm gonna get rid of one because I don't need to, the same thing do I really, come on. And I'm gonna get rid of this one. Just because I feel like I wouldn't wear it out of the house, you know? I'll keep the blue cozy jumper instead. Oh my goodness, I think we're almost done. Now these vests, I generally 
or tend to wear like under some of like the more sheer items which some I've got rid of today but and sometimes when it's it's just cold you know this one I thought it was cute however I feel like it makes me look pregnant when I wear it because of the tearedness on it so goodbye my friend um I will pop my vests back on here like I said my work uniform um I'm just gonna put in the inside wardrobe for now because I'm not working at the moment the eight 39 the leggings that are somewhere oh I found them potentially 39 if I keep these trousers that is pretty good and I'm quite happy with that so what's that it worked out to like 75 76 items in the end so I've almost halved it almost um so that feels pretty good uh I now have to sort through everything which isn't as fun um and list things or ask people if they want them and yeah I feel quite happy with my selection I found a t-shirt keeping although it does have a hole in it which is a uh, upsetting so my I feel like my color palette is black and white but that's cool I'm happy with that if you did enjoy this video then please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this I also post over on Instagram my Instagram is at slow style diary and hopefully I will see you very soon bye